A young man has been sentenced to two consecutive 99-year sentences for the brutal murders of a mobile couple in 2011. Please. Local 15's Christian Jennings joins us live outside Government Plaza. Christian, the judge handed down another interesting form of punishment. He certainly did, Greg. After hearing a request from the victims, Judge Ben Brooks ordered that a picture of the Azels be placed inside Jakari Chambers' prison cell for the entire length of his sentence. It's been a hard three years. A hard three years. But now at least the relatives of Shirley and Roy Ezel have the closure they've been seeking. 21-year-old Jakari Chambers was convicted of murdering the Mobile couple in 2011. A couple who reportedly treated him like a grandson. He lived with them very much of the week. Roy and Shirley would provide him transportation to and from work. Uh, they provided him a place to sleep. Um, they provided a lot of things for him. Today, Chambers was sentenced to 99 years in prison for each case, set to run consecutively. Justice was served. You know, uh, I pray for the young man. You know, I hope that uh, he can find in his heart as God to forgive him for what he did. You know, we all forgave him, but, you know, he got to suffer consequences for what he done. Prosecutors say Chambers attacked the couple inside their home on Horton Drive, beating the Ezels to death. As part of the judge's sentencing, a picture of the couple will hang in Chambers' prison cell. Shirley was a good person, and her husband was too. And he had no reason to do that. He needs to look at that picture as long as he lived every day, just like we have to look at our picture every day. Chambers' attorney says his client is innocent and today was denied his request for a 20-year sentence. He never wavered from... Uh, his original statement to the police that he was not involved in the case. And the defense told me that they will now prepare for an appeal. Reporting live outside Government Plaza, I'm Christian Jennings, Local 15 News.